Yo peeps, Moonshine here. So, <laughs> I wonder where should I start though. So, there was loads of water at the water tank uh, at uh, Obar Mountain. Uh, and not only that though, uh, right next to it <clears throat> there was like a, like a mountain cabin. It looked abandoned, or at least building in progress. But never mind that. There were two spigots, two working spigots. Uh, fairly clear water because I think it's been sitting in the pipes for quite a while. But uh, decent enough filter, nice and tasty. So uh, it was a good hike up that mountain and then back down to the water and back up. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. The terrain today has been just uh, just crazy. I mean, no trail pretty much whatsoever. Just some general direction of uh, a cairn or like a trail marker or something. And you're like trying to find it. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's tough. I liked it and enjoyed it, but that was eight days of it. So, uh, what just happened, so I got to the point, you'll see on the photo any moment now. Uh, so I got to the point where the Black Range route of the CDT and the Hilo Alternate are like at their closest, like just pretty much next to each other, like 0.15 of a mile separates them, but it's like straight down the mountain. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't record any of that descent because I was just thinking of where I'm gonna put my feet I'm gonna go down and uh, not to like knock off any big rocks that can have the like roll down effect and I don't even know who's down the down the road maybe a car passing by hikers so uh, yeah straight down direct connection so I'm uh, currently on Tehila River alternate <laughs> uh, well, I have only three and a half miles of it, but uh, basically over there at that ridge is uh, where the Black Range of the original city route is, and uh, that's where I just got off. Uh, it was fun. I was like, why the heck not? So I uh, made my own trail. Or reconnected the two versions of it and uh, I'm kind of positive about it hiking it now uh, but I felt really shattered today with all the rocks pretty much I mean I was kind of lucky but I could have like twisted and like hurt my ankles really bad like numerous times in the last few days because of all the rocks and rough terrain so, uh, well, I'm heading for the Dutchman Spring. That's going to be my rehydration station. Fill up some water there, get ready and hike out a few more miles. And then two days, two days left to Python. I do need that rest badly. Like my hips, my feet, my legs, my body. I stink. I stink so bad. Uh, you know, I've I've done 12 days without taking a shower when I was hiking the PCT, but I didn't stink that much. And now, so bad, so bad. But uh, salvation is two days away. Hot shower, laundry. I'm cooking myself some food. I'm gonna go to a restaurant, get a meal, and do a zero. Like. I still have plenty of time. I'm gonna look after my body, take a rest, and get into that, you know, strong, like trail legs mode. And then I'll catch up on the mouse up ahead. Well, uh, enjoy. <laughs> and uh, keep you posted on how things are going. So far, so good. Past the 10% mark, that's 310 miles.
I think that was yesterday or the day before. But uh, keep on going. Yo guys, so uh, I'm at, uh, at the Doster house in uh, Pie Town and uh, well a friend of mine uh, in the name of uh, Growler, he, he got me a care package. So that's the beast he sent me. I don't even know what's inside. Uh, I asked him for like four, four to five days of food. That thing looks like there's like 10 days inside so I'm gonna find out what's in it um, together with you so stay tuned I'll open it in a moment all right so I'm back I actually have forgotten my pocket knife so let's see how we can open this thing and see what's inside so a big shout out to Growler thanks man I appreciate uh, uh, the goodies well let's see what's inside <laughs> but um, just the whole gesture it's you know absolutely stunning and uh, <clears throat> I appreciate uh, you willing to help out uh, with a care package so without even digging inside I, I see only toilet paper first but uh, <laughs> let's see what's inside um, I'll definitely use that on trail uh, it looks like uh, paper towels but uh, I guess they might come in handy like uh, toilet paper so um, let's see where I can uh, put that without uh, losing it. But let's see. So tortillas, nice. I was actually wondering if you're gonna put some because um, I've uh, I finished mine. And here in Pine Town, <clears throat> the only place that has some food it's a general store, which is like three miles down the road. And we've just been there today. It's very limited. You can fix up a some sort of a resupply and get yourself to grants uh, for better options but overall it's just really really um, basic and um, some of the stuff uh, let's say expensive but the place is in the middle of nowhere so no surprise well I love the tortilla, tortillas so uh, great choice there let's see what else we got here so I suppose he fixed up a day worth of food um, I guess that's a day uh, for him um, it looks like it should it's supposed to be a day for me too fresh fruits I love it um, there is some um, nuts some oatmeal some bars tuna packets the lovely north sides mm, I don't even know what's that that looks like uh, Mexican rice or something but I'll check it out um, actually I'll check it out now um, oh it's the select that's rustic Mexican rice and beans uh, there is two of them um, and so the tuna packets some uh, some seeds some bars fig bars some um, some smoothie um, have some dates Man, that's some really healthy stuff here. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, oatmeal, a few other bars. Um, yeah, great selection. Well, that's one day. I guess uh, some of the others will uh, mix up. Just uh, different, uh, different stuff for the different meals. So let's see what's out here. We have. Uh, Brown rice, barley, millet, flax, seeds, wheat, quinoa. Nice, good stuff. Thanks, Growler. Uh, one more here. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat this in like one go. Uh, you do, like, you are like, I mean, I guess, um, I don't think I've got the hiker hunger yet, but um, I hope it's gonna kick in very soon. And uh, these guys will be coming in like very, very handy uh, every night, let's say. Um, tuna packets for lunch um, nice great mixture of the creations loads of bars again fresh fruits nice I like it um, 
So, no old meal in this bag. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. There is so many other stuff that I can have for breakfast or whatever else, so I'm not even worried about it. Um, so, I guess there is um, another um, mac and cheese. Good choice, good choice. Um, more stuff, healthy stuff, fresh fruits, salmon. Uh, man, I'm gonna be like gourmet like every night with all that food um, by the look of it. So here comes the the spoiler treats, sour patches, Idaho. Um, what is that? Oh, chia seeds for the oatmeal. Yeah, that's gonna be a good mix. Make sure you use that. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, blueberry muffin mix. Add this to oatmeal. Uh, spices and dehydrated herbs. Good shout on this one though. I'll use it for Idaho. Give it some extra, extra kick and some flavors. Um, so that's another option there. Uh, there is. More oatmeal, nuts, tuna, north sides, and I guess I think these are uh, again the selects. Maybe not just a normal one, but that's still good. So I, I I rarely get the select one, they're more like a treat for me. Um, but these are just, uh, yeah, nice broccoli one. I like those. Um, nice, nice. Man, like, I don't know if you eat that much on trail, uh, I guess uh, <laughs> I might go through one of those in like two days, but um, I'll tell you what, I'm not leaving anything, I'll take everything with me, I'll carry the weight, but I'll eat it, I'll make sure I eat it. Um, these are not going on the trail, they're gonna go now, like, I'll, te I'll tell you, like, these are gonna get devoured any moment now. Um, uh, oh, look at that! Look at these two! That's Shapes and Growler. Uh, I'm sorry for like, not mentioning Shapes, but uh, well, these two guys were just absolutely lovely. I made them both on the Appalachian Trail last year, and um, um, I've been well asked. Well, Growler got in touch, and um, I, I was wondering how Shapes is doing, and I guess uh, she's not really big on social media, but doesn't matter. Uh, I guess we communicated through Growler and um, there, there she is, little hot there, shapes, Growler. I uh, love you guys, thank you very much for hooking me up with all that. Um, um, thanks for the hairbands, I'll need them soon. Like that wild thing up here, it's getting even wilder. So um, <laughs> I'll need to like put it in, um, uh, in shape <laughs> very soon. Um, again, thanks very much for all the goodies, um, the Q-tips, uh, seen some spare batteries, um, meal mixer, hand sanitizer, lighters. Uh, you pretty much hooked me up with um, with stuff that I can uh, start uh, again from the border, <laughs> but uh, I'll make sure I use them all. Um, let me actually check out that little uh, photo we have here. Thank you for all forms of support. Yeah. Snap face. I love it. I love it. That's awesome, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. There you go. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Stay tuned. Um, I'll definitely eat all of that. Like, listen, I don't like throwing food away. Uh, I know leaving it in a hiker box can be helpful for other people, but um, I know that I'm gonna eat it, so that all is coming with me. It's gonna be a heavy carry again. Like in the last 10 days, I left with 50 pounds uh, from Silver City, but um, well, if you wanna eat, you gotta carry it.
last time I, uh, I did a little bit of a recording or like a catch up on what's happening was uh, like a way back, uh, maybe like 70 miles. So I was just uh, uh, on the way out of the Black Range and I rejoined the hill and uh, of course kept on going. And uh, the funny thing is like right out that same day, same night, evening, whatever, I uh, I caught up to the first hike on trail. Like uh, yeah, of course I started with three others uh, on the border, but I I never saw them like after day one. So I hiked and I ran into uh, uh, Pooh Bear. Uh, it's uh, it, it's a lady uh, which uh, I actually. Uh, was in touch uh, or in contact with her before the hike to see you know any of the early starters in March and uh, maybe form a little group of hikers heading out uh, in the early season. Uh, she, so she was one of the few that replied back and uh, said that of course she didn't know her starting date at the point but uh, later on she found out that she's starting earlier than me seen her uh, signs, you know, like her name in uh, some of the registers and logs along the trail. Uh, but that day, I just had this like weird feeling I'm gonna meet somebody tonight. Like, I'm getting out, like, uh, I'm passing the, the Hiller Black Range Junction, and there must be some hikers out there. So, there you go, I run into her, and I was like, human being! So it was the same from her side. Uh, it was pretty exciting uh, that, uh, well, that I caught up to her, for her and for me calling up to her uh, and obviously having somebody to talk to because uh, seven days before that or since I left Silver City pretty much uh, spoke to nobody. <laughs> really there was nobody out there and the elks that I saw were really not that friendly. They were just too scared to run him away in the distance. So anyway, uh, we continued. Like we camped together that night. It was about 24 miles. But I said to myself, if I see a person on the trail, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna stop and camp with them <laughs> just to chat to somebody. Uh, so the next day, um, I took. Uh, I took, well, she started first, and then I took the lead, uh, kept on hiking, and uh, I decided to take the, uh, the Forest Service Road walk uh, into Pie Town because uh, I just wanted to get into Pie Town earlier. I didn't want to like wait any longer, and uh, I was like, I'm going to take that CDT the alternate and uh, hopefully make it there on. Uh, Monday sometime but uh, well things worked things worked out slightly slightly differently and uh, I made it there early on Sunday but uh, <laughs> the night before I made it to um, uh, some uh, local campground just to the bottom of Mangus Mountain and uh, my shelter for the night was uh, a public restaurant now funny thing sound disgusting but actually their freshness and air freshness is made it smell really wow my hat <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, made it smell really nice and uh, I guess it was uh, it was a very cozy night because the next morning I uh, I got out of there obviously starting my hike uh, towards Pie Town 30 mile day and uh, everything was just frozen frost everywhere so outside of the restroom I guess it was uh, below freezing temperatures uh, but inside it I was nice and cozy I'll tell you that I was actually one of the comfiest and uh, warmest nights uh, I had on trail like I uh, slept nice and comfortably until 4 a.m. which is normally the coldest night of the morning coldest time of the morning and uh, well got going the next uh, that same day uh, went up uh, Mangus Mountain 
I climbed up to like 9600 uh, 9, feet uh, there was still quite a bit of snow up there but uh, nothing too challenging uh, just uh, hopping on little patches on and off and uh, or just going around them but uh, yeah water was good uh, the rain was all right uh, water sources there was one really nice water source where I switched on a pump and uh, I didn't even have to filter so I made it to Pi Town uh, in the early evening just around like 5 30 and uh, it was really nice uh, just to you know make a stop uh, chill out relax and uh, well I guess uh, I'll continue that in the next video and how that went but uh, Pai Town was a well-deserved rest, a good zero, met some other hikers and I'll keep you posted on that. Alright, second batch. Uh, so, uh, uh, Pai Town was a, a really interesting place though, Toasty House, uh, if you never heard of it, uh, it's a place, it's a free hiker hostel uh, and it's, uh, it's owned by Nita, lovely lady, uh, I almost miss her. Uh, during my stay there, but uh, today before I left, I uh, managed to see her at the local cafe, the Pie Town Cafe. Uh, you should go there, guys. Really nice food, really hiker friendly people, really hiker friendly. Uh, because there is no laundry at uh, the toaster house anymore, uh, we got a lift from uh, uh, from the lady that works at the Pie Town Cafe to the general store, which is three miles out of Pai Town to do my laundry together with uh, with another hiker uh, the name of Free I actually met Free back on the PCT in 2017 and uh, it was such a <laughs> such an interesting uh, moment to meet him again this year here on the CDT and uh, well in the toaster house so uh, uh, yeah, uh, we got a lift, we did laundry, I rested, my feet are feeling absolutely amazing after that rest, so it was uh, definitely much needed, well deserved I guess after 250 miles of hiking, especially on the Black Range and uh, everything that I had to deal with out there, but uh, on the way to Grant, uh, so uh, Episode 1 is out now uh, of the vlog, so uh, I guess uh, you must have seen it by uh, by that time and I hope you like it. So uh, please uh, keep, uh, you know, uh, commenting and uh, liking the videos. Also subscribe to the channel if you see something useful out there for you. And uh, I'll try to keep you up to date with uh, what is to through hike the CDT and especially in this uh, record snow in here. I'm actually looking forward to Colorado. There is quite a few friends uh, out there that uh, are already warning me about the snow conditions but I'll keep my eyes out and I actually might get uh, adjusting to that earlier because uh, there will be a good amount of snow right after Cuba. But uh, well, we'll see when we get there. For now, I'll keep you posted on uh, what's happening between Pi Town and Grants. And uh, thank you for watching. Благодаря на всичките български последователи. Надявам се, че на вас ви харесва влога. И коментирайте, харесвайте, не харесвайте. Каквото ви е на сърце, споделяйте. Най-важното е да споделяме. Там нататък, деца вика, ще се чуваме и ще се виждаме като се прибира. Живи здрави. Това е от мен. И до следващия епизод. Ciao, ciao.